Hello everybody, it is Stratu back with another Nerf video, and today I just picked up a stockade, it's beautiful, so yeah, um, let's unbox it and review. Included is instructions, a few darts, ah, take there few darts, the blaster, and the stock. Here's the stock. Now let's open the blaster. Okay, so um, before you buy this blaster, just one thing to notice, um, slow reload. Um, so if you're in a war and you're practically reloading um, and you're using this for your primary, I would probably um, just know that it takes a while to load these darts. Um, one thing is uh, on the gun here, sling point um, here, attack uh, rail here, stock appointment, I already told you that. Uh, I never knew they had jam drawers for drums, but jam door and um, iron sight. Uh, just in case you don't have that optic up here, um, which really doesn't do anything, uh, you can uh, look at your iron sights. Um, and not the most modular blaster, but with modifications, it can definitely be modular. Um, hand grip is very comfortable. Um, I notice it only really works. I mean, it's got like this... You see, so my hand's kind of tiny, but it's also got a prong down here. Just in case you're an older nerfer, um, you can get that bigger handle, which is pretty awesome. Um, stock. Um, I'm going to have to back up to get it um, comfortable. Uh, I like this stock because it has bullet holders. One here and one here just to make the reload a bit practical one two three four five on each side so that's one reload and then you can also keep like drums on here i guess if with a modification but um i don't think i'm gonna mod this gun um notice something if you've modded your gun and you have a um, if you your gun and you have this little thing like here to tell you where your bullets are um this stock has a hole kind of like the retaliator stock so you can use it like that i like it a lot better than retaliator stock um you know no flames um very sturdy uh you can easily go left hand to right hand easily um and yeah so that's it for the stock um Let's move on, I guess. I noticed something kind of weird. Um, there's only actually one sling point here on the bottom of the handle, right there. There's none up here. You can take a nice exam and look. Um, I don't see one, unless you would attach one on your stock here, but I don't think that'd be very comfortable. So just note that you might have to mount your own sling, sling point. But, um, yeah, just stay notice of that. Um, and one last fact before we get to the firing test. I really do enjoy the jam door. I think since it has a barrel, it's a lot easier to, like, jam it than a, um, than a, than, um, a meg or clip, whatever you call it. I call it a meg. Um... So, yeah, um, not too modular. I wish there was, like, um, a longer barrel so you could put a grip. But, I mean, the grip that it comes with is pretty nice. Um, just do know that if you hold on to here, it's kind of holding the drum. So, like, hold on to here so you're not touching the drum because when you touch the drum like this, it's not going to rotate and it's going to be screw up. It's a user error, um, and it's going to start jams, and you're going to get blown off from your Nerf 4. So, yeah, now we're going to go test it. 
I'm gonna put some batteries in it. Oh yeah, um so yeah, I'll tell you where to put the batteries and everything. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So um it takes um three double A Durso batteries. Um you're gonna need a really tiny Phillips screwdriver. It doesn't have to be Phillips, but that's the one I used. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's get to the firing test. I've already fired it. Um, I had one jam, and that was a user error. So yeah, um, it's kind of diff it's kind of helpful to rev this, so you're not focusing on the rev trigger. You're just spraying and praying. So yeah, uh. Let's show you guys Sorry it. about the lighting, but let's do this. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot at you. This thing is good. Now I'm going to show you my layout. So I'm going to go operator status with this. Um, I'll just have the gun playing with no optics. And then I'm going to wear a backpack, a mic with walkie talkie so I can communicate. The operators need to communicate. And I'll have my GoPro. So yeah. So I would have this mic so on my walkie-talkie hold up with the gun. I'd use the iron sights because it's kind of like a little scope optic, kind of, like, and I would have some tactical gear on, but I don't know. So yeah, um, that's it for the stockade. Um, I was about to say specter, but that's it for the stockade. Um... I didn't really have any cons with this gun. Flywheel, um, semi-automatic, not full auto, semi. And, yeah, I will see you guys later. Well, that looks cool. That looks really cool, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.